Your Saturday morning, it is 716 here. Waking up, feeling a tad bit more like fall. The coolest of the air is not here just yet, but it does feel quite nice this morning. Notice we do have some clouds. There is a strong breeze and temperatures 60s north of the lake down to 69 in New Orleans now, but 73 at the lakefront and 72 out in Kenner. Even some low 60s out in the Bayou Parish. So it feels a lot better this morning. Preview of the weekend forecast looking fantastic. I hope you have plans outside this weekend. 79 today, 75 tomorrow, and then yes, we will be back in the 80s as we head into Next week winds you are going to notice them this morning, especially if you're going out to the lakefront. They're gusty. We're gusting over 30 miles an hour at the lakefront, gusting to 23 in Kenner, 17 in Galliano. Not really looking at any big gust on the North Shore, but five to 10 miles per hour. Now you couple those strong winds with the lower humidity coming in. Couple that with our ongoing drought that we've had well all year now, it seems like. We got a big wildfire risk today. In fact, we have a red flag warning. A lot of times we aren't dealing with red flag warnings. What is that? Well, you could interpret it as a fire weather warning, just meaning that the fire risk is extremely elevated today. If a spark flies off of something, a wildfire can start very easily. It can get out of control very quickly, so absolutely no burning across the area today from Mississippi through Louisiana. We're still in a bad drought and that's not changing anytime soon. I don't think now tonight chilly. I mean, this is get out the sweaters type of weather. If you're going to be uh, weather, if you're going to be up early Sunday morning, 40s north of the lake, 50s and 60s on the South Shore, even some 40s up the river parishes. So Sunday morning's cool. Look at Monday morning, maybe even a couple degrees cooler. I mean, that's almost cold. 44 in Bogalusa Monday morning, 46 Slidell, 56 in Kenner, 57 in New Orleans. We might even get close to the upper 40s down in Bell Chase. So if you got the sweaters in the closet, the light jackets, maybe get them out, dust them off, throw them on the throw them in the dryer, knock off that closet smell a little bit because you may need them by early next week, at least Sunday and Monday mornings. The afternoons, though, it's that time of year where you almost need to play in two outfits. Cool in the morning, comfortably mild in the afternoons. Next week, this roller coaster ride is because Wednesday has been trending a lot wetter, and if you're watching us yesterday on the eyewitness morning news, I was talking about the uncertainty with the rain chances coming next week. Wednesday has been trending wetter and wetter, and both of our models do show us getting rain. Now they still differ on how much rain we're going to get. The American model gives us more, the European not so much, but they're both bringing rain at this point around Wednesday. Some rain Thursday and some rain even into Friday. So we got a lot of moisture coming from two tropical system in the Pacific that will head our way and notice rain moving in at some point Wednesday. It looks like and this would be very extremely beneficial because it could be a prolonged good soaking rain. Now models right now are showing the heaviest near the coast, lower totals to the north. We'll see how this trends. This is certainly far from written in stone, but I'm liking the trends I'm seeing here with the decent rain chances by Wednesday. Thursday some showers and then our next front moving in around next Friday. So we may have a good chance of rain not only Wednesday, but coming in around next Friday with our next cold front. So even next weekend, we're talking getting into uh, Friday the 13th next Friday. October 14th is next Saturday. We may have another round of some cooler air, at least 70s back in the forecast. So something to look forward to. But there we are enjoying the weekend. Do keep an eye out on the waters. If you're going to be on the boat, please be extra careful in the small craft. We do have a small craft advisory all day and into tonight that will uh, the winds at least will start to weaken some on Sunday. So we'll see improvements on the wind tomorrow and will be mostly calm as we head into Monday. Your high tides today are running this morning. They are happening over the next couple of hours. Your low tide happening later on this evening.